The campus of Montana Tech is constantly growing, and the growth is due to come to a head within the next couple of months. Let's refresh your memory, shall we? Classes have already begun at the newly renovated Petroleum Building, now known as the Health Sciences Building, and the nursing department no longer has to go to the COT in order to go to class. The nursing department is in there with all new state-of-the-art uh, equipment. In terms of our health programs, it's, it's going to go a long way uh, in having our nursing program up here on the North Campus. Uh, As you can see, construction on the new University Relations Building is coming along nicely. Prospective students will be able to meet here and take tours of the campus to see whether or not Montana Tech is right for them. Our plans are to have the Gilmore Relations Center uh, operable this summer. So we will have students this summer uh, who visit the campus to uh, possibly enroll in the uh, fall 2012 semester. And finally, 12,000 square feet of new space is being added to the western end of the Hyper. Here, students will be able to work on their cardio and more while enjoying the beautiful Montana view out these giant windows. Now there's, there's basically three levels where you, we've got a weight room, a cardio room, and an area where you can do stability balls and, and things of that type. So for our, for our general student, for our, our faculty staff person, they're not going to be so crowded and they're going to have the ability to, to work out on some new equipment. The statement for the campus, will, will, for the students, will be just our commitment uh, to, to making sure the facilities are, are quality facilities for the Montana Tech students. So why are these renovations and construction projects being done? What does Tech's administration have in mind for the future of the school? Well, for one thing, they've announced plans to grow the student population to 4,000. But what exactly does that mean? And how would it affect the college and its students? And can the school really get that many students to sign up? Students expect more out of the university than they did years ago. And the expectations um, that, that constantly uh, are, are brought to our attention is, is, is a nice place to work out. Um, great libraries, um, better parking. I mean, it's, it's, it, we, the, the student is, is realized that they are much more of a customer than, than, than they were in years past. In the spring semester of last year, Tech had over 2,600 students enrolled, almost 1,000 of which were engineering students. Questions have been circulating. Can Tech really support that many students? Where would they sleep? Where would they park? We'll certainly look at opportunities for online programs and for the use of technology to, to help us with that growth in our student numbers. So I think all the, all the challenges that you have with our current student population just, just grow, if you will, when we get uh, increasing population of students. So, and, and that's a fun problem to have. To clarify, that means students both at the Northern Campus and at the COT, and it's not going to happen next year or the year after that. The goal is to get 4,000 students enrolled in five to seven years. The overall domino effect of, of the nursing program uh, moving to the North Campus is going to benefit Montana Tech uh, both at the, at the South Campus level as well as the North Campus level. So Tech fully expects to be prepared to handle a bigger student population in the coming years. And the effects of the recent improvements are already being used to make it possible and keep them happy once they're here. Only time will tell what the future holds for the college, but those at the helm say they aren't simply content to stay the course, but to forge new territory. For The Technocrat, I'm Jonathan Kershaw.